book world, we have not one Thursday, but two, because of course Thursday has been written about by someone, maybe not me. In Thursday's fictional world, there is a different fictional set of Thursday books which aren't terribly good, unlike in the real world, of course, where they're, where they're excellent. So the written Thursday is a sort of pale imitation. And when Thursday goes missing, then the imitation Thursday has to step up to the plate and try and act like her better alter ego. The written Thursday doesn't have, a, doesn't have a husband. You see, because Landon, who is Thursday's real husband, didn't want to be in the Thursday books. He says, no, I don't want to. Um, Thursday um, allowed herself to be in the Thursday books because I think she needed the cash. Um, but Landon said, no, 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 you can just do them on your own. I, I really don't, don't want anything to do with it. So unfortunately for the written Thursday, um, she has the love of Thursday, of, of Landon, her husband, uh, but she doesn't have a Landon because he died in a house fire in the books. I hope you're taking notes, it's quite complex. Um, so in fact, the written Thursday has all the feelings for this lost Landon, but in the real world, and she gets to the real world, she gets to meet Landon for the, for the first time. And then she goes, oh, it's him. But, but I'm not Thursday, but I am Thursday. Or am I not Thursday? So you could say the whole book is actually about a woman trying to find herself, because it's Thursday trying to find Thursday, but it's also written Thursday trying to figure out what written Thursday wants. Every book has a, has a volume uh, that covers everything in it, um, like the, you know, the plot, the characters, the situations, to an incredibly finite detail. Actually, coincidentally, it's actually the same as the book, actually. This is actually uh, just you know, the production notes of one of our Thursdays missing. Because what I do when I write a book is I, I set out to make an incredibly precise um, uh, sort of, you know, sort of outline of the novel that I'm going to make. And that takes about seven months. But by that time, they, the publishers want the book so much that I just give them the outline. So what you have here is, in fact, uh, a very, very detailed outline of a book that would have been much, much better if I'd have time to write it. But I didn't, so I apologize for that. We have racy novel up here, up in the far north. And then there's women's fiction on the left, right? And then there's uh, dogma on the right uh, and comedy to the south. And racy novel belongs to what's called the uh, um, the axis of unreadable, um, along with sort of misery memoirs and self, most of self-help. So, you know, there's, there's all, all kind of, no one much cares for racy novel. Um, but there are, there are sort of, between racy novel and comedy, there's uh, sort of buffer zones uh, like um, bawdy, bawdy romp and bedroom farce, you know. So, so it's, it's, you know, it's quite an interesting way of looking at um, the whole genre and idea. Um, and also crossovers, you know, crime and comedy. Um, obviously, there's a bit of sort of crossover there. Um, and then uh, fan fiction is off vanity. And then school essays is off fan fiction. And um, beyond school essay is, is member of parliament's expenses, which is a sort of topical British joke at the moment, but it's on fiction. Um, but yeah. But Enron accounting you'll probably find somewhere in Fiction Island. Well, Thursday, obviously. It would be awful for Chuck Norris and all his fans to be, you know, decimated by Thursday. Mm -hmm.